year. Happy New Year from Mama J's Country Gardening. You know, we're almost into 2021. 2021. This time last year, everybody was making a big deal out of 2020. 2020. But did we know that 2020 was going to create its own history, its own history. Um, the big talk of 2020 was COVID-19, coronavirus, it had a couple of names. And, and, and the mystery about that continues um, um, and, and, it, and it's growing, it's growing. So I remember the old folks used to say, this is praying time. I heard that many times in my growing up and, and, and um, actually I'm, I'm in the old folk territory now. So I, I just wanna say how good God is. You hear me say that? I wanna say how thankful I am for so much. And, you know, as bad as COVID-19 experiences have been over 2020, it also did a lot of good. The good in that, let's take away the sick side of it. Let's talk about how I believe it helped people to uh, get closer. I believe in families. Um, you know, the fact that um, everyone learned new things, and, and one of which is not depend so much on the local supermarket. Grow your own food. Grow your own food and, and um, just glorify the fact that a tiny seed, and we're going to talk about seeds here, a tiny seed planted in a container, in, in, in raised beds, in the ground, in a pot, gave nourishment to families, gave nourishment to mine. I'm not new to gardening. Mama J is not new to gardening at all. But I'm so thankful for, to God for the opportunity to bring this information to you about the importance of, of just growing your own food. Okay? And so for all that, I just want to say thank you. I want to thank you for coming back and joining me and yet another talk. So if you are a return, returning to Mama J's Country Gardening as a subscriber, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I so look forward to each and every opportunity that we can spend together, okay? And always, Mama J is coming from a good place, bringing you peace, bringing you love, bringing you some enjoyment and some fun. Let's explore this world together. Let's go into 2021 with a whole fresh, um, with fresh thoughts, okay? Let's, let's do that. And, and, and you know what we wanna also do? Always keep in prayer the folks who have experienced other losses, or illnesses as a result of COVID-19 or any other condition that one may have. And, and, and just pray their spirits um, that they may be headed towards that, that beautiful land that we all are looking forward to one day. So for all those folks that are new to Mama J's Country Garden, I wanna say welcome. Thank you so very much for joining me. And, and, and we have a lot of 
fun here, okay? We 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 uh, talk about scriptures. As a matter of fact, I read scriptures because it all it all starts with God. <laughs> Couldn't do it without Him, and so why not read a scripture? But that's what Mama J does. Also, know that for everything, be thankful for the good times as well as the bad times. Okay. We, we, we garden, we plant a tiny seed, and watch it grow. Watch it grow. Watch it grow. And then we also play with our food. <laughs> I encourage playing with your food. We prepare meals from uh, fruits and vegetables for which we have either grown myself in our garden right here in zone six, or I have purchased items from my local farm. And that farm uh, is called uh, Maple, Maple Farm, okay? So God is good and that response is all the time all the time. I'm very grateful for Camera Lady. Thank you, Camera Lady, for hanging out with me. And, and Camera Lady enjoys um, creating these vehicle, these uh, videos, excuse me. I'm very grateful for my family, my younger daughter, my older daughter, my grandson, and my extended family, um, and my, my video family. <sighs> I'm so thankful for God saving me and for saving you and for saving your family and for saving my family. So, with all things, give thanks. So, what are we going to talk about today, Mama J? Well, this is what we're going to talk about today. Hmm. It's a brand new year we're going into, 2021. Have you made your New Year's re resolution? Have you made your New Year's re resolution? You know, so many people, and, and I can be guilty of that too, you create that resolution and you have every intention on keeping it and seeing it through. And then something happens and either you forget it or you made it bigger than you can ever imagine. And it doesn't go through. But I want to tell you, and I bet you can guess by the time this video is over, what one of Mama J's country gardening resolutions is. Okay? So I'm going to share with you what blessings I received from my Christmas list. And, and I pray that you, each and every one of you, um, were blessed during this Christmas holiday season, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever that is that you celebrate. But one number one thing that I had on my list was peace for everyone, and that is in my heart every single day, okay? So, let's get started. Thank you. So, it's scripture time. And this is my book that you know Mama J been writing all her scriptures in. It's just, just a little, little book. Nothing fancy about it, but what's inside of the book. Uh -huh. Now, there is a lot special about it. So, our scripture today, because we are getting ready for 2020. This is my New Year video. And, and, and this scripture today is coming from Psalm 100, verse 5. That's Psalm chapter 100. Verse 5. 
Stay with me. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. That's from Psalm 100, verse 5. But let me tell you some more. As we stand on the threshold of a new year, we know not what the future holds. But we can trust the Lord, our God, with all our heart. For he has promised never to leave us nor to forsake us. I got to read that again. As we stand on the threshold of a new year, we know not what the future holds, but we can trust the Lord. We can trust the Lord, our God, with all our heart, for he has promised never to leave us nor forsake us. Happy New Year to each and every one of you and to your family and friends and your neighbors. And Happy New Year. Have joy in your heart. Have joy in your spirit. Have joy. It's okay. It's okay to be happy. It's okay. So, let's talk about uh, what I received, some of the gifts for which I received for Christmas. And I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I, I mean, there's a lot here. There's a whole lot here. And I'm going to share some parts of my Christmas with you as it relates to gardening as it relates to cooking. Because I got other gifts too as well. I told you that before that I had some I had some catalogs. And this is the 2021 catalog that I received just a couple days ago from um, Select Seeds. Okay, and again, let me just share with you um, that Mama J is not monetized. Mama J is not supported in any kind of way by any of these companies for which I'm sharing. I'm only sharing with you what I have, what I've received. And, and by no means... Um, Am I only, you know, restricting myself to, to these companies? It's a, it's a wide range of them out there. And 2020, the seed companies, oh my God, they, 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 they blew out of the water. I mean, they were overwhelmed with the orders that came through. Um, and those, and, and that, 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 that started around and they noticed it around in April. And they're already still feeling it. People have ordered an abundance of seeds and 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 uh, gardening tools, um, you know, and 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 soil and, and and whatever to prepare for the spring, for when they will begin to start um, their garden. Okay. And so, and, and many of us, including myself, never stopped growing. I grow all year round. I grow all year round. And, 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 you know, I encourage you to do the same. I really do. Okay. Another company for which I received their 2021 um, catalog is from Territorial. All right. And these are free catalogs. These are free catalogs. And, and, and uh, you know, I welcome you to contact these companies, please. I encourage you to ask them to send you a catalog. 
This is territorial. Okay? So, I told you before, and for those that don't know, this is my gardener's journal. I write everything in here. So, all the seeds that I've received for Christmas are going to get listed in this book. And in my floor plan that I have in my book for 2021, it will have a designated area for which I've decided where to grow this, these, these uh, vegetables and I have fruit here as well. Okay? We're going to talk more about um, this book. And, and and the floor plan as we get closer to the spring, okay? But right now, what I ask you to do is survey your garden. Take a look around. You know, it's cold. Check out which way the wind blows. Check out which way the sun comes in and know where the shade is located in your garden. You know, know where, know how uh, that energy comes into your garden. Know that. Because you, some of these have to be in direct sun. Some can be grown in shade. Okay? Just so you know. These are some things that you can do. All right? It's not too soon to order your soil, your fertilizers, um, your mulch, you're going to get a whole lot of sales around this time. I have in, in my area seen specials. Um, take advantage of them so that you don't um, become overwhelmed when it's time for you to actually, you know, um, plant. I mean, excuse me, lay down the soil. So um, I just want to share that much with you right now so you keep that in mind. Some items that I want to talk to you about that I received for Christmas. So I've received a lot of seeds for Christmas and I was so thankful and ex excited. And But before I start telling you about my seeds, I want to tell you about some other things that I received for, for holiday, okay? So here I have, excuse me, I have pressure cooker. Can you see that? I have a pressure cooker. So these foods that I'm going to grow, some of them are going to be prepared in this pressure cooker. So it does a lot. It allows me to make soup, stews, beans and chili, steam some vegetables, saute. It says yogurt here. I guess I can make watermelon yogurt. I don't know. We shall see. Play with your food. Rice. We eat a lot of rice here. Um, we also make rice cauliflower. Cauliflower rice. Okay. So we'll prepare that in here. Slow cooker. Yep, that's what it says. Multigrain. Poultry. Cake. I've never made a cake in anything other than the oven, so we shall see. Okay, so this is my this is my uh, pressure cooker. My younger daughter gave me this for holiday. Okay, she also is the um, is my daughter who has a website called Peace of Refuge. Check them out. All right, please. Okay, here's my other gift. Oh, <laughs> look at it. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is Menage's Real Career, Real Korean Cooking Cookbook. I really get a whole lot of enjoyment out of watching Menage's um, YouTube videos. She has about nine years worth of videos, so imagine trying to look at all that. But trust and believe, each and every one of her videos are informative and a lot of fun. So check her out. 
M-A-A-N-G-C-H-I, Menages, okay? And Mama J will be making um, some dishes out of here, okay? I will be. I think the very first one I may be making out of here, and don't quote me on this, may be kimchi. Oh, yeah. Okay? But anyway, Menages, Korean cookbook. Okay, I'm going to need some tools in order to uh, make my food. So, <laughs> look at there. All right, can't hold these all up. All right, very special gift from my dearest and closest friend. Uh Era. my she's my sister and her husband is my brother and that is these are from um, Diane and Larry Fowler okay oh my own and 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 I love um, Mama Jay's loves preparing meals when they come over and I always have it ready for them we have so much enjoyment and the time is just that we spend together is never enough. It's never enough. We have been friends, Diane and I. Oh, I want to say, mm, gosh, 48 years. I think 48 years. Something like that. 48 years, yeah. Hmm, no. I think we're at 50. 50 years. Yep. 50 years. There we go. And and we're looking forward to 50 more. So, to Larry and Di, I love you too much. Okay. Here we go. You really got to pay close attention. Remember again, Mama J is not endorsed or monetized by anyone. I'm just sharing with you what I will be uh, adding to my garden during um, um, summer of 2021, the spring of 2021, and the fall of 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to the spring. <laughs> I got to tell you the temperatures today in zone six is 40 degrees. 40 degrees is beautiful. It's a beautiful day. It really is. But it's not 75 degrees. It's not 80 degrees. It's not 90 degrees. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, here we go. This is called tomato orange. Um, I love growing varieties. I love, can you see that? Can you get that? Okay. I got to get it in the right place. This is a tomato. Let's see what it says. 75 days. 75 days. Start indoors six to ten weeks before the last frost. So, they say in zone six. We could expect our last frost to be anywhere between April the 15th and May the 1st. Those are soft numbers, as I shared with you before. So I could safely begin these seeds indoors as early as hmm, March. We shall see. Okay, but anyway, there you go. Orange, peach, tomato. All right, I'm going to do all tomatoes right now. All right, here we go. Subarctic plenty or the world's earliest tomato. Really? The world's earliest tomato? Hmm. Okay. You got that, camera lady? It's beautiful, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me share something with you. 
So, camera lady received a a uh, pod thing, a stand that her her that the the that the uh, camera can be positioned on. Boy, was she glad to get that. So thank you very much from Peace of Refuge. Thank you very much. And so she's excited. She doesn't know what to do with her hands or arms or anything like that. She's stretching. You know, she's doing all sorts of stuff. But I just want to say, <laughs> okay, now what a gift she received. All right? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Tomato pole. And this is a pineapple tomato. Mm -hmm. We're going to grow all of this. Can you see that? You got it? Take it down? Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says 90 days. Frost sensitive. 90 days from transplanting after the last chance of spring fork. Frost. Okay. All right. Okay. Moving right along. And I have other tomatoes um, for which I'm going to grow. But these are just the ones that I, I got for, for holiday. All right. Kitchen King. These are green beans. I love green beans. I'll have a lot of them growing, too. Let's see. 55 days to harvest for these. Mm -hmm. All right. This says, Eureka, you have found the most tender, brightest yellow wax bean. Plants are loaded with beans for your fresh eating or canning pleasure. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Bean bush, they call Eureka. Eureka! Like that. That's, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, more beans. Cherokee Trail of Tears. This is like a black bean right here. And let's see what this says. Historic heirloom of the Cherokee makes vigorous vines and good for snaps or dry beans. Okay, that's this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are garden beans. Bush Blue Lake 47. And let me see. An improved Bush Blue Lake 274. Six inch stringless pods with more flavor and tenderness. 58 days to harvest. And last but not least, purple, purple string beans, royal burgundy. 51 days to harvest, right there. They make an abundance of, of green beans. All right, I got so much here, I don't know where to start. How about I go to cauliflower? We can put some cauliflower in there, too. All right, this is uh, purple sisley. Purple cauliflower there. Purple of sisley cauliflower, a vibrant Italian heirloom. Beautiful, brilliant purple heads weigh two to three pounds. Fine, sweet flavor. And when it cooks, it turns bright green. All right, I'm looking forward to that. Green margarita. Green margarita. Cauliflower. All right. Hmm. Okay. When you uh, order from um, Baker Creek Heirloom, 
they bless you with a free packet of seeds. Um, I've actually grown this one before, and I'm looking forward to growing it again. It's called Rogue de Hiver Lettuce. Rogue de Hiver Lettuce. It's like a purple lettuce. It's very light, very tender, and you have a really delectable uh, taste to it. It's delicious. Okay, I'm going to go over here to mustard greens. It all starts with the seed. Mustard Giant Curled, um, is that what this is called? Southern Giant Curled Mustard. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this says it's an old heirloom from the south, excuse me, from the southern U.S., Large, upright plants with crumbled leaves that have a delicious mustard taste. Slow to bolt. Okay. He's going to fall down. All right. I'm going to break up a little bit and tell you about watermelon. So this is called Dixie Queen Watermelon. Mm-hmm. Dixie Queen Watermelon. Supposed to take 80 days to harvest. All right. Cucumbers. Garden bush slicer hybrid cucumber. Right there. Can you see it? Okay. 53 to 58 days to harvest for this one. Um, Chompers, this is called hybrid. Chompers hybrid, hybrid. Chompers, I can chew on it, crunch, crunch. 50 to 55 days to harvest. Straight eight. Cucumber, 58 days to harvest. Yellow cucumber, shaped like a little tennis ball, right there. And this is 65 to 68 days to harvest. Spring burpless cucumber. Okay. And this is uh, 52 days. To harvest. All right, now this is squash. Black Beauty zucchini. This Black Beauty zucchini. Okay. Forty-four to sixty-four days to harvest. Because you, as soon as you see. Zucchini growing and get a little nice little length. You can start harvesting or you can let it get longer if you like. But this is zucchini. Okay, moving right along, we have eggplant. Thai long green. Green eggplant. I already told you, Mom and Jay loves variety. Loves variety. All the colors of the rainbow and then some in my garden. All right, this is an Asian eggplant. Mm -hmm. Thailand heirloom that is becoming popular with gourmet chefs. Mild and sweet and grows to be 10 to 12 inches long. Very slender fruit or beautiful light lime green with superior flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Okay. All right, got some more colors here. Corn, atomic orange. I bet you've never seen an orange ear of corn in the market. If you have, let me know. Make a comment. Make a note down in the comment section of this video and tell me some of the colors that you've eaten in corn. 
And then did you go in the resell or did you purchase? All right. So this is called Atomic Orange Corn, a new open pollinated variety from the gifted corn breeder, Ed Schultz. Ah. Hmm. Amazingly orange ears are produced super early. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, the squirrels better not try to steal my corn this year. I'll tell you about that another time. Orange corn. Okay. Here's another one. Ardent sweet corn. This is sweet corn. And uh, it takes 85 days to harvest for the sweet corn. It's white. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's one for you. Blue jade sweet corn. That's what I said. Blue corn. There you go. See that? See that? Blue. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And there's, there's the corn. Okra. Whoo! Mama J loves some okra. Well, I love all these vegetables. I love vegetables, period. But the little southern girl. Mm hmm. I'm going to tell you something. Love some okra. I think I may have mentioned before that there's over 140 different varieties of okra. I hope to be able to try each and every one of them. So here's one for you. I'm looking forward to growing this. This is from Okinawa. Pink okra. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm-hmm. Rare and beautiful treasure from Okinawa. From Okinawa, Japan, one of our favorite new edible ornamentals from the famous blue zone of Japan. Okay. There you go. Mm hmm All right. Okra heavy hitter. Now, I want to know if this heavy hitter uh, type of okra, if it's going to be more productive than jambalaya. I'm going to do my own test, just for fun, okay? And I hear this produces a lot. So, the most productive okra we have ever seen. That's what it says. Okay. We shall see. Orange jing. Orange jing okra. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All the colors of the rainbow are going to be in my garden. There you go. Whoo, is it spring yet? Come on with the temperatures. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. All right, last but not least, peppers. Habanada. Habanada. Don't get scared for the folks who don't like heat. Mama J loves heat. This is a mild, heatless habanero pepper. It's called habanada. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Now, this one right here, <laughs> this is hot. This is hot. Looking forward to growing it. Sugar Rush Peach High Pepper. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Looking forward to it. Long peach colored fruits are packed with loads of super sweet tropical flavor, and the seeds bring a smoky, complex heat. You heard it. Mm-hmm. It's delicious, stuff. All right, last but not least is uh, bell pepper. Grand bell, all mixed colors there. Now, peppers can take, um, and this says here, 85 days to germinate. Near yeah, about 90. Some of them, the hotter ones, can be as much as 100 days. So, I just want to say I'm looking forward to the spring. 
Thank you very much for viewing this video. Please take just a few minutes to give me a thumbs up. I'm wearing a thumbs up hat. Share this video and like it. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider just hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified of any future videos. And Mama J has a lot of content. A whole lot of content. So I just want to say once again, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. See 2021 to be your best year yet. My New Year's resolution is to grow all of these seeds. Every one of them. I'm going to grow every one of these. Everyone, I'm going to grow these. Yep. And I'm going to cook them. And I'm going to eat them. And I'm going to share. That's my New Year's resolution. Uh-huh. Yep. There they are. And I have more where that came from. God bless.